The painting is called Every Dot a Prayer for the Saskatchewan Rivers. It's a painting that speaks to the love that uh, all of us have have for the Saskatchewan rivers, both of them, the north and the south, and also the very, very long relationship that's within our blood memory that our ancestors had, that, that other nations have had with the Saskatchewan rivers and our relatives, all of our animals and plant relatives, the relationships that they have had for tens of thousands of years. The central fish that's depicted in the painting is, is the sturgeon. The sturgeon is uh, the lake sturgeon species. That is now listed on the endangered species list and has been extirpated from many parts of the river. The river is being dammed for agriculture. This need for us to uh, subjugate the river um, for our own, our own uh, benefits it has detrimental effects for future generations of all species, including our own. The sturgeon is a very sacred fish, a very sacred being, and the frogs are included in there based on a dream that I had about frogs uh, and the sturgeon with a relationship that they had together that has nothing to do with us. In, in my dream, this, the sturgeon told me, I miss the frogs. The Menominee people have, uh, within their teachings, a belief that the sturgeon will wait uh, for the frogs to sing before they'll return to spawn. I think about stories, how our teachings and our laws are wrapped up in each one of those, even our, our histories are in the um, sturgeon, for example, you know, all of the, the oral history that's in the, in the sturgeon, the law that's in the sturgeon, you know, the treaties between animals. And when we, when we think about treaties, we think of treaties between people and we don't understand that there were treaties with, with, uh, within animal worlds, between animals and even between people and animals because we didn't, uh, we didn't grow up with, uh, with Atayokayona, those, those what are called the sacred stories that have laws in them. Reg Kroshu teaches that um, singing, at the end of treaty signing, singing was, these are my words, not his, but sort of the, the wax seal on the treaty. That was the, here's our signatures. Having one of our ancestors touch the end of a pestle while a mark was made on a document they couldn't read and didn't understand, it didn't reflect all of the work they had put into putting this treaty together so that their children would be looked after in the future. It was really interesting and now you're talking about that again in terms of we have treaties amongst each other for a very long time and we've been using singing to make treaties for a very long time. And he actually said that when you go out to hunt a buffalo, or you go out to hunt at all, there's a song that you sing in order to get the license spiritually to go and take a life. Taking a life is such a big deal that you do that. Um, Gladys Wapass teaches that when you go to pick your medicines, you introduce yourself. You don't just show up and take what you want. You don't harvest without knowledge. You don't harvest without purpose. Think about uh, uh, natural law and sacred law in terms of that it governs us, we don't govern it. So when we think about the land and we think about the types of governance that we had in our communities, for example, it wasn't just the buffalo hunts that we had, we had trapline governance, which was completely different. And you have to think about how we would behave as a community, supporting one another. How did we have to live? How did the earth govern us? And we lived within those laws, not the other way around. So this painting includes a lot of depictions of plants and animals, such as the barn swallow, 
uh, which is now listed on the endangered species list. It depicts a lot of the plants that I feel personally connected to based on our experience with our lodge and with the Gabriel's Crossing and our experience on that part of the river. And um, it has stories in there. And there's a lot of uh, elements, every single element in there has some kind of a meaning. And it, it could be used uh, if we understood the stories of our people, then we'll understand the painting a lot more. Mm -hmm.